Today we'll be talking about Annabelle. So we're not just going to be focused on Annabelle the movie. We're actually going to dive into the real Annabelle. Yes, I said that correctly. There is a real Annabelle. So Annabelle first appeared in the movie The Conjuring in 2013, starring Ed and Lorraine Warren. There are actually two paranormal investigators, also known or specifically known as demonologists. They actually work for the Catholic Church and go around helping people who are victims of possessions. Both Ed and Lorraine Warren are devout Catholics. They operate on the area of fringe Catholicism, which is possession and demonology. The couple is dependent on Lorraine's skills because she's a clairvoyant, meaning she can see things that are not necessarily there. She can sense spirits and also read people. So the nursing students in the beginning of the movie, The Conjuring, Donna, Angie, and Angie's fiance, Lou, they're actually based upon real people. These are people that came into possession with a doll in the 1970s. So Donna's birthday was coming up. She was turning 28 and her mother decided what better gift to give her than a doll. She actually spotted it in an antique store and purchased the doll for her daughter. When they brought it back to the residence, Donna and Angie, as well as Lou, noticed some things were going on with the doll. So the nursing students noticed Donna little scribbles around their apartment that says, I love you, or I miss you, or let me in. They also heard childish giggles and assumed that there was a ghost in the home. So what they decided to do is invite the ghost inside of the doll so it could be a host. When they did this, all hell broke loose. By all hell breaking loose, I mean that the girls could not get a good night's sleep. Remember, they're nursing students, so sleep is very important to them. There was squealing and all kinds of noises at night, um, things talking to them, the walls being um, banged on, doors being knocked on. They tried to throw the doll away and it actually came back several times after being dumped in the trash. So that's when they decided to call um, the paranormal investigators who were Ed and Lorraine Warren. Ed and Lorraine Warren got wind of this via the Catholic Church and went to investigate Donna and Angie's apartment. They stumbled across the doll and Donna and Angie explained to them that they invited the spirits to live within the doll. That was a big mistake. Ed and Lorraine explained to them that the doll, since it's a host, it's not a host to a ghost, it's a host to a demon. The demon actually tricked them into inhabiting the doll. So after Ed and Lorraine Warren saw Donna and Angie and Lou, they performed an exorcism on the doll. Um, they had it blessed and they put it behind glass to keep it safe. They actually keep Annabelle in their occult museum, which is in Monroe, Connecticut. People can actually go there and visit it. And Annabelle, of course, is off limits. In the museum contains objects that were possessed or involved in a possession. Annabelle sits there behind glass that is protected. A priest comes there once a week to bless the house and also pray over the items so that another transference or type of possession does not occur with people entering in the home or into that specific room. So Annabelle isn't this big, scary, Hollywoodized doll. It's actually a plain Raggedy Ann doll like the one seen here. And this plain Raggedy Ann doll is the host of a demon. That's what makes her very scary. So everything that basically happened after that point when Ed and Lorraine took the doll and had it blessed and put behind glass is all Hollywood. So that is the true story of Annabelle. I do hope you guys enjoyed my video.